Dear students, today we will discuss two topics, communication media and communication rates. So, communication media is basically communication between computing devices is handled over two type of paths. One is known as parallel communication and another is known as serial communication. As the name is suggesting that in parallel communication, we are communicating parallelly number of things and in serial communication, we are communicating one by one. So, let's have a look, closer look on both of the things. So, for example, we have such a parallel communication where several signals are transferred at the same time, each on a separate line. For example, we have a bus that has number of wires available and on each of the wire we can send multiple signals. So, suppose there is only one wire available between CPU and memory. So, in such a situation, it would be very difficult to communicate between CPU and memory because the data need to be waited very long as there is only one connection. So, the parallel communication means that you have parallel paths available. So, you can see there are many parallel paths, small, small paths available. So, on those parallel paths, data is transmitted efficiently and it requires complex architecture because you do not need to design only one path, you need to design multiple paths. And if we see the serial communication, so we have a sender and we have a receiver, so we have only one line, dedicated line. So whatever data is sent from sender to the receiver, so the data is sent on this only one connection. So, transfer data one after the other requires a simple data path. Data transfer rate is relatively slower than parallel communication. And USB and FireWar are examples of high speed data transfer over a short distance. So, they are form of serial communication. And if we talk about a little bit slightly longer distances like offices, universities or a smaller building. So, then Ethernet connections are form of serial communication. And then there is a communication over longer distances. For example, traditional voice lines dominated the PC arena for many, many years that we were using the uh, traditional voice lines, phone lines to send and receive data of computers. So, they, how they work, they convert bit patterns into audible tones. So, data on these phone lines is, con, is sent and received using audible tones. So, first that need to be done using modem that is modulator, demodulator, a device which is attached to your computer as a controller. And then for longer distances, we were using, for example, some companies have initiated DSL that is digital subscriber line that is available and then we have some cable modems which use fiber optics and coaxial cables for high definition TV and computer network availability on high definition. And then our next small topic is communication rates. So when the devices are communicating whether they are serial or parallel so, it depends that what is the rate at which bits are transferred from one computing component to another computing component and the basic unit is bit per second. Then the next unit is kbps which is kilobits per second which means thousands bits not bytes and then million bits then one billion bits and for example, if we want to see the connection speed in kilobytes, then we will translate 8 kbps would be 1 kilobyte because in 1 byte there are 8 bits. And then USB and FireWire provide several hundred of mega bits per second data transfer 
And if we summarize today's module, we have learned communication media and communication rates. And we more specifically discussed about serial communication, the communication one by one, and then the parallel communication going or sending and receiving data parallelly. And then we have discussed that how the communication rate should be measured in M MBPS or KBPS or GBPS.